review the number of different ways that you can distribute your analysis. So obviously getting it into Power BI is the first step because this is a this is a great way to distribute analysis. You're distributing you're distributing this in your office your, your Power BI portal. It's also wrapped into your Office 365 subscription. So all of your Office 365 options you've got down the left hand side here. So it's really easy to actually get to this information and for your colleagues to consume, consume it, etc. But there's other ways that you can actually distribute as well. And some of these ways are, are, are highly requested. They're highly requested by uh, the community out there. And, and the Power BI team have listened and have developed some, and, um, some ways to, for additional distribution. Uh, and they're continuing to develop them because they have to, because some of them aren't actually finished products in, in, my, in my view. But, um, but they're, they're certainly on their way. The first way you can distribute and quite a commonly used way is this publish to web feature. So what we can do is we can create a code. We can create a web, basically a web code. And I can place this inside a new, uh, a new um, uh, web page here and, or a new tab, and it's gonna bring up our report, but actually in a website. So this is pretty powerful. So it's exactly the same experience that we created in our desktop model, put it up to the cloud, and now because it's in the cloud, we can distribute it over the web. You can also embed this report into a website as well. And that is um, via using some simple HTML code. But one thing I wanted to mention here before we go on is that Obviously, you, you might think, well, this is actually quite risky because anyone could get this link and they could then um, go and show the whole world um, what, what analysis you have. Now, what I say to that is that, yes, they could. They absolutely could. And, uh, and that is, is one consideration. And if you are totally freaked out about that, well, then just don't allow this feature at all. Uh, and, and maintain everything inside your Office 365 tenancy, tenancy. But what I will say is that if you did feel that your data was compromised, you can turn off this link immediately. So if you come to uh, the icon up here like so, and we grab manage embed codes, you'll see here that this Power BI demo has come up and we can actually uh, delete it. We can delete that link immediately. So I'm going to delete it and then if I come back to here and push enter that will no longer be available. So to me the security isn't that bad. If you truly felt that your data was compromised or you only wanted to leave your analysis open for a, a period of time then you can turn this link off immediately and then no one can find it. No one can actually see the information that then is only contained within your own uh, Office 365. Okay, so there's a couple other ways that we can uh, distribute information. The other one is we can subscribe now. So what, what you can do is you can add subscribers to these reports and get these uh, reports emailed to you every day. I can click on subscribe, it brings up this um, pane in from the side, and we can provision people to actually see this every day. Well, we can have uh, the report page emailed to them. So in this case, I'm going to uh, save and close. It's as easy as that. Uh, and now that is going to be emailed to me every day. Uh, and at the moment, I thought that's this, this is a recently released product. And I think that they'll develop that this far more so that you can actually provision certain people to actually subscribe. Uh, and you, they may be internal, they may be external. Um, you may be able to send out emails multiple times a day. So I think there's a really good roadmap there. Um, and and even though, and, and what, what the subscription actually shows though, is it actually only shows a static page. So obviously someone might want to link back to this analysis and there's a link to actually do that because this is, this is where you get the most power, where actually in Power BI um, and being able to filter on information and really drill into information. So. Um, I think the subscribers is, is a is a good method, and the roadmap is great. So I think that that will be more um, be used a lot more in the future. Now, there's a couple of other ways we can um, publish uh, these reports. So the other way is you can publish to web here, but instead of using this code, you can use this HTML code here, and this is what you actually put into your website. So you can so you can distribute your information via the web via a, a your own website, a blog post, for example. 
You can also embed to SharePoint, which I don't have enough time to show you today, and, and I think there's a lot more to, to develop there. Uh, it's certainly still only in preview. And you can also export to PowerPoint. So I'll show you this one. So this takes can take a little, a little while to actually download, but what it does is it actually downloads static pages to a PowerPoint presentation. So, so many people uh, in the community asked for static, uh, static uh, analysis that they could print out. Um, you know, there, there is a requirement, there certainly is a requirement to still print, even though I, I don't know why you, you have to. If you could change the behavior, everything should be done in here because it is seriously so much better. But people still wanted to, um, still want to be able to get information into PowerPoint because maybe their managers are used to uh, exploring um, pick data in a static way, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, so they, the team have built this uh, ability to download it into PowerPoint. Still got a bit to go. It's still only in preview, um, has been in preview for quite some time now, so uh, they obviously are running into a few technical challenges, but the roadmap, again, is pretty pretty good in terms of what you'll be able to do. So you'll be able to have a 10-page report. If you want to get that all into a static PowerPoint presentation, you don't need to copy and paste everything over to PowerPoint. You should just be able to uh, download, download it like so, and it will create this entire report for you in, in PowerPoint. You can see that it brings up this front page and then it actually brings a static page uh, of our report here. Now it's not perfect, it doesn't look exact, there's very small differences as you can see. You also can't filter anything and then um, bring it into PowerPoint so it's always going to be the static front, uh, with, uh, front, front page with nothing. Um, with nothing filtered at all, no no additional context put on any any type of calculation, so you can't drill. So that's a major downside. But again, this is not a finished product. It's uh, it's but the roadmap is good. I think the future is very bright for this sort of um, distribution. So that really summarizes all the different ways you can distribute at the moment. I think there's going to be many more in the future, um, and uh, pretty exciting. I think it's pretty exciting what they're what they're able to do now that this information is in the cloud. I think there's going to be massive in, um, integrations into uh, Office 365 products as well. So things like email. I mean, you should be able to just bring up whatever visual or dashboard you want within an email, send it off. Um, so you might you'll be able to call things in your Power BI. Um, Area, you'll be able to call them and very easily into other, um, you know, into other things that you might be doing. So you might be in a chat, you might be in Microsoft Teams, you might be in uh, a Word document. So you know, all, all of these things are going to be um, uh, more integrated into Power BI as we go on. So it's pretty exciting. But that's it. That's the that's all the distribution methods that you have in Power BI at the moment.